for yeah. that. We should go back out to Catherine uh, Harridge. I understand, Catherine, we now have the whistleblower's complaint, and I know you're putting like it together right now. It right now. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going through it right uh, right now, and uh, so just bear with me while I read through it. So, as we just reported about 10 minutes ago on your show, uh, this is a very professional, professionally done document, and at its core is the conversation between the president and the Ukrainian president Zelensky. Uh, the language in the complaint says that they received information. I'm quoting here: I have received information from multiple U.S. government officials that. The President of the United States is using the power of his office to solicit interference from a foreign country in the 2020 U.S. election. The interference includes, among other things, pressuring a foreign country to investigate one of the President's main domestic political rivals. Now, I'm just going to continue to another section I want to flag because, as you recall, in, in my first report this hour, I talked about uh, allegations or questions over the integrity of the trans script and here's that section it states in the days following the phone call I learned from multiple US officials that senior White House officials had intervened to quote lock down all records of the phone call especially the official word-for-word -word transcript of the call that was produced as is customer customary by the White House Situation Room this set of actions underscored to me that White House officials understood the gravity of what had transpired on the call. And then right. it continues, White House officials, to just one last one, White House officials told me that they were directed by White House lawyers to remove the electronic transcript from the computer system in which such transcripts are typically stored for coordination, finalization, and distribution to cabinet level officials. So it's alleging that the integrity of the transcript is not solid and that it was not handled in an appropriate fashion. And again, the, the information came to them through multiple U.S. government officials. And I'm still reading through, but it is a very uh, professionally uh, crafted document. I mean, my read is that it's someone senior within the IC, given how it's been structured or they've been working with lawyers who are very familiar with how to handle a high-profile whistleblower complaint like this guy's. That's right. And Catherine, I'm looking, it is nine pages in all. Yeah. And toward the end, yep, there correct. is one part that yep. is blacked out. There is one part that is yes. uh, obviously uh, viewed as classified, so we're, we're not going to see it. And it regards uh, putting uh, the transcript into a standalone different computer, which they worried about. Yep. That's right. Uh... I, I, I don't want to speculate because that's not my habit no, to get into the redacted. But but you're you're flagging something important, which is there are a lot of questions that are raised in this complaint about whether the transcript was handled in a standard fashion or whether there was something irregular and deliberate about the handling of this transcript. Just for folks at home, the way it typically works is that the Situation Room is on the call among other officials and uh, intelligence officers are typing in real time as the phone call unfolds. Then they take those transcripts or their records, typed records of the call, they cross-reference them, they cross-check them, they tried to create a collated or final record of the phone call. But this is questioning whether all of these practices uh, were followed uh, in a standard way. So, so if I was to summarize roughly what you, we seem to be uh, gleaning from this document, it is uh, the allegation is from multiple sources, not directly, there was uh, a sense that the president during that conversation was using his office for political gain. Uh, I guess they're talking about Joe Biden and that the what we read yesterday, the five pages, right. does not comprehensively go over exactly what went on in that phone call. Right. I just I, actually here's the exact language. I think we just stick to the language because of the, the gravity of what we're, we're talking about right here. The whistleblower says, I have received information from multiple U.S. government officials that the president of the United States is using the power of his office to solicit interference from a foreign government in the 2020 U.S. election. So they say, I have received this information. Is that illegal? Do you know? White House officials. Is that illegal? If he's using his power to get information about this, if it's not if it's not all, if you give me this I'm information, that's the one thing I've skipped was law school. <laughs> so I, I don't want to make a judgment on that. Okay. All right. So uh, also, well, there's a lot to go through here, but mm -hmm. there is. There's nine pages, and I know you're talking and reading uh, at the same time, which is a, yeah. a, you're gifted in that. 
So this is a declassified version that you're looking at. The members of the Intel committees last night apparently had an opportunity to go and read the classified version over in the secured, uh, the SCIF areas there on Capitol Hill. So they will, while well, the public version has, be, has some redactions to it, uh, the people on the committee actually have seen the stuff that's not blacked out. But, but I have to say, this is a very uh, lightly redacted document. Mm -hmm. There are those Just two sections uh, towards, um, towards the end. And I, I find it interesting that a whistleblower complaint would have um, what's called a classified appendix. That's like um, an attachment of additional information which is sensitive uh, in this case. Again, that goes to the idea that this is a very professional or senior person within the IC, or they had very professional help in putting the whistleblower com complaint together. So it was very... Right. Um, uh, by design, if you will, not sort of spur of spur of the moment. But uh, the, the uh, central like, allegation, right. the core of it is the phone call, though. The, and there's and there's no transcript here. Just to be clear, this does not have uh, the transcript. So they're talking about information that they have received from White House officials about the phone call. So that's consistent with what we've been reporting. Um, no direct knowledge of the phone call. Let me read you some of what uh, the people that looked at it last night uh, said, uh, and I'm sure there's a, a political slant to